Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. So today we have a real nice 66 Mustang in the shop today. And the car is having a little bit of running issues, not running very well. And I did the spark plugs on it a little while ago and I noticed that they were very wet, meaning the car has been running a little rich uh, with too much fuel in the system. So uh, that, that kind of made me come into the, the level, the float levels, thinking that, okay, maybe they're a little too high. And sure enough, I took the bolt back there back there I took that one out and as you can see it's right here okay that one just screws out I uh, took that one out and sure enough a bunch of fuel just gushed out uh, this car has an electric fuel pump so I turned the key forward and sure enough a bunch of fuel kept trickling out and that's telling me that the fuel level in the bowl is a little too high and a lot of that fuel is getting passed and then and ending up inside the system uh, unmetered okay so what we're gonna do today is basically what the title says we're gonna adjust the fuel level uh, I'm gonna set you up right now on this little tripod right here hopefully it doesn't fall over at the worst opportune time but I'm gonna set it up and when I turn the key since it does have an electric fuel pump since that one is already set no fuel should be coming out however if I rock the car which I'm gonna rock the car right now So you can see some fuel that trickles out and all I did was I, I put my hand here on the fender and I just I just gave it a little bit of rocking movements and then you'll see a little bit of fuel uh, trickle out as you just did now what that is telling you is that basically the fuel level is just under the threads that are right there okay and let me see if I can right now with a little bit of flash you might be able to see the fuel level yeah, you can see it right there uh, now since I've been kind of knocking it around right now um, it, it did go a little lower uh, but when I turn the key on it's gonna be right there right up to that line and it shouldn't trickle out uh, the only time that it should trickle out of course is when you rock the car just ever so slightly and it'll come out right so I ended up taking this one out and this one is also out of adjustment so we're going to adjust this one together today so you get a good understanding on how to do it. And we do that simply right at this bolt, right up top. And this is the one that controls everything pretty much. So the top screw, so you have that, that gold looking screw, which is a brass screw. That's the retaining screw. That one, all we're going to do is turn it just a hair just to loosen it up. And then the one that is actually controlling everything is the nut down there. Okay, so you see that's a, that's a 5 8 nut, and hopefully my phone gets some, some uh, focus here, okay, alright, there you go. You can see that, that nut right here, that's the one that is actually going to move your float level up and down. And the way it works is, so we're looking at it from the top, if you rotate it clockwise, right, if you go that way with it, you will push down the level right the float and the float will then i mean the fuel level will then drop okay now if you turn it counterclockwise as in that way right turning it that way if you do that you're going to raise the level of the fuel now i got you set up on the tripod and i'm going to go ahead and put that rag down there uh, just so we don't collect a bunch of more fuel okay um it's gonna trickle down somewhere around here okay now the next thing we do is we're gonna go ahead and remove this and just pay attention right now we're starting to get a little bit of fuel come through I don't know if you caught that or not but there's some fuel that's starting to come out and be very careful because this guy is real short okay, and you got a little washer there with it okay Make sure you don't lose that because it will leak if you don't put that washer back on. And I wish I had a flash, but right now my phone's on low battery, but I don't know if you can tell, but there is fuel that trickled out. Now I'm going to go ahead and rock the car. I'm going to rock it back and forth. 
so you can see that there's fuel coming out of just the front bowl right okay i brought you in closer and you can see the fuel level trickling out right now when it's set up correctly you can end up like that and and that means that the level is pretty much right at the very bottom of the threads right but what you don't want is for your car to be running and the fuel is trickling out from the hole okay so in our case again we have an electric fuel pump so i'm going to walk over inside the car i'm going to turn the key without starting the car and no fuel should be coming out of those two holes unless i rock the car so i'm going to go ahead and do that now So as you can see, you can see that stream of, of fuel coming out, right? And we don't want that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this. We're gonna, we're gonna put our flathead screwdriver. We're gonna turn this out just a little bit and you're gonna start seeing some trickle of gas. And we're gonna crank down on this one, okay? We're going clockwise. And I just did like a quarter turn. Okay, I'm gonna rock the car, get some of that gas out of there, okay? And let's rock it out okay now it should stop trickling out okay still it's still coming out so I loosened it a little bit more and I'm gonna crank down on it some more okay how's that okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna set it right there okay I tightened up the uh, the retaining uh, bolt on top and I'm gonna rock the car a little bit get some of that gas out of there because we wanted to start fresh again okay let's let's get some of that gas out let's get more of that gas out okay get out of there get out of there all right that should be good enough and give it a fresh start right there and see if it trickles out anymore uh, it also helps to to dry it out a little bit let me dry this out so we can get a clear view there it's nice and dry and the fuel is no longer coming out we got our pump running right now and everything is set it's no longer coming out but the fuel is right there right at the edge let me bump it okay see how it came out all right now this one it's a little low i'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this one right there it's a little on the tight side and i'm just gonna come out just a little bit and then i'm gonna set it down Okay, and I locked it in place right there and how are we there I'm rocking the car and it can come up a little bit more we still got the fuel pump running and we're gonna come out with it just a hair okay and then I'm gonna set it right there again oh and what we're doing on the back one is we're raising up the fuel level okay so let's rock it a little bit see now it's getting closer I wanted to be even with this one as a matter of fact this one can even come down a little but I uh, want it right up against the sight hole so I'll loosen it like that and then and yes it's gonna be trickling out gas like that uh, let's let's come out with it a little bit okay just a hair and then tighten it back up all right so where are we now with the gas let's rock the car a little bit fuel pump is still running now let's keep coming up with it okay now let's go up with it a little bit more because again I want it to be nice and even to the front one because the front one if I you see if I rock it it's right under the sight hole so that's what I want so again another little eighth of a turn or something okay where are we at now I'm gonna dry this off so I don't get any false uh, readings there. Let's see. Oh, there we go. You see now they're, they're pretty much perfectly even. See, let's dry it out one more time. Let's do both. Let's dry out that one, dry out this one. Okay, and I'm gonna rock the car, watch. See, now they're both pretty much identical. So now you can give your, your set 
screws just that extra little nudge just to make sure that they're good and, and snug you don't crank down on them hardcore you just you know you just uh give it a nice firm little little tighten on both of them and you're good and now that we have successfully gotten the fuel level or the fuel height right where we want it we're gonna go ahead and reinstall our uh, sight hole screws make sure you are going in 100 percent straight you don't want to cross thread this and end up with a fuel leak and tightness as far as tightness goes just nice and snug right there you don't crank down super hardcore you will damage the uh the corners on the bolt as this one apparently has a little bit of damage on it Let's see if i can get this thing to focus on it but these are very sensitive these are made out of brass so you want to be extremely careful with them That's it. And that there is the way you set your fuel level on a Holly carburetor. Well, if you found value in this video, please hit that like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. Until next time, y'all take care.